It's Rai. So today I decided that I'm going to respond to some of your questions and concerns about getting a pixie cut or anything pixie cut related. I realized that my top videos are my pixie cut for some reason and I get a lot of questions. So I decided that I'm going to make this one just about all, all the questions combined and then I will be also uploading maybe two or three other videos talking about one subject in particular because I have two questions that I get asked so often it's kind of ridiculous and um, I'm gonna really be getting in depth on those in a completely different video so I'll talk about that in a little bit so without further ado let's get into this video all right so the first question is I'm excited today I'm probably gonna get my pixie cut any tips so a big concern that I had before getting my pixie cut was was I gonna like it you don't know if you're gonna like it until you actually do it now 95% of the time the person likes the pixie cut but the other five are like eh, whatever it's something that you have to take a big risk and you have to be like willing to accept that risk but I think that really when it comes down to the day you just have to mentally prepare yourself and be like all my hair is gonna be gone and I'm doing this like you really can't prepare yourself enough for this type of scenario but I think overall that you will be ecstatic and very happy with the outcome do you know what face shapes work best for pixies personally I have a weird face shape because it's long it's it's big in some scenes it just it's all over the place I think it really helps when you find celebrities that have the same face type and hair type as you so for me I saw Ruby Rose and I was like she has thick hair and her hair's brown I know that's weird but I wanted to really be like is this what I'm gonna look like um, and so I got one of her haircuts and I really really loved it um, I've tried other haircuts in the past and she was always like, well, this person's hair is really thin, so just warning you, it's not gonna look the same. So really try to find somebody that has the same thickness or thinness as you and the same face shape. That'll really, really help um, help you out. How long did you maintain your pixie? Love ya. I love you too. Um, so I've had my pixie for almost two years. It'll be two years in May, um, but I stopped um, getting it cut in October. So that'll answer some of your guys' questions I was reading. Um, I'll get into that in a second. But yeah, so I've had my pixie for almost two years and I stopped maintaining it in October of 2017. Explaining what you want is one of the most difficult things ever. How am I supposed to do it the right way? So when you get a pixie cut, they will be like, okay, what do you want? How do you want it? the most important thing is that you have a picture reference you can't just go in and say I want a pixie cut because there's millions of different kinds of pixie cuts and lengths and styles so on and so forth so you have to be very specific in what you want and like I said before you really want it to match the thickness or thinness of your hair um, and your face shape so then you get what you want because a lot of the time you'll want something and you can't really get it because that's not the way that your face is shaped or your hair is shaped. I definitely think that's a big like thing is you need to look at different types of pixie cuts maybe even two weeks ahead just so then you can like oh do I want this one or this one and then once you see get it cut if you don't like it or if you want something else two weeks later you can go get it cut again. It's literally like endless supplies of different shapes and styles. So if you would like to see all of my pins for all my pixie cut inspiration, my Pinterest is Riley Louisa Pernet. So get trimmed at the same place or somewhere new. So if you had a bad experience at that place that you just previous got it trimmed, definitely try a new place. But for me, I'm not a perfectionist, so I really never care um, what it turns out to look like. As long as it's somewhat what I expect. Um, and they don't completely like screw it up. I'm not gonna be like, oh, I hate it. Um, I have had a couple bad pixie cuts. Um, probably my fault because I 95% of the time just got it done at Walmart. That sounds so sketchy, but like, I don't know. It was right there and decently priced. So 
I don't know. I definitely think that finding somebody that suits your needs and everything, and once you do find that person, to stick with that person because they know what you like and they know what you don't like, it'll just make everything easier for you and your hairstylist. Do you think anyone can look nice with a pixie cut? Absolutely, hands down, yes. Reason being is I think that anyone can pull it off. You just have to find that haircut that looks and fits you personally. I know so many people that have gotten a pixie cut and I'm like, if you were to do this differently, it would look 100% better. I think it, it really is just finding that one style that fits you. Just like clothing styles or so on and so forth. Did anyone ever think that you were a boy or something like that? So I get the question, are you a lesbian, quite often. So much so where it doesn't really like affect me or phase me when I do get that question. Um, but it doesn't really offend me or bother me. It's just someone asking, do you like girls? Just if you were to ask me if I like guys. It doesn't really offend me and I don't think that that should be something that scares you um, when it comes to getting a pixie cut, especially Especially this day and age, I don't think that it should be something that you'd be offended over. I don't think that getting a pixie cut will make you look masculine or a guy, especially the way that it is. Now, if you were to get a boy cut, sure, if, if you don't wear makeup or if you are very low maintenance and you like dressing like a boy, sure, you'll look like a boy. But that's just, if that's what you do, then that's what you do. It's all about the way that you work it, I guess. <laughs> To be honest, can we date? Yes. Can we honestly date OMG? Yes. Okay, but can you be my girlfriend? Yes. What was your worst time having your pixie? Mine was my mullet, Haley. Hi Haley. Um I've had a lot of bad pixie um pixie styles. Um for instance, my most viewed video, the first picture with my hair. I think that was a really bad time mainly because my hair was like 12 inches long and sticking up. I've also right currently I think like maybe even like just like a month ago it was in the place where I could literally do nothing with it and it looked disgusting but it's fine it only lasted a month and here I am I can put most of my hair back so we're getting we're making progress. <laughs> think you would really shave your head. I do. I do think that it would be a possibility that I would shave my hair off. People might call me crazy, but I would do it. Oh, if you guys like my phone case, this is by Case App. You can customize your phone case. You can get whatever kind of phone case. I think they have like, I want to say 90 already designed, but you can also make collages and do really cool things and put pictures on there all for the same price it's totally worth it the link will be in the description below I just thought I'd tell you that cuz this phone case is freaking adorable I know how do you get your hair so thick and how do you get the tip to stand up so well mine's really thin and I love your main style so I'm thinking of getting it I think this comment is on my original five pixie cut hairstyles so my hair is very 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 thick it is almost coarse, so when I wake up, all my hair is up. And I'm serious about this. It, all my hair is literally on all fours. So if you want really, really coarse and thick hair, I definitely recommend using a pomade or um, a very thick um, type of gel. What did your parents think? My mom said I can't get one because then people will think I'm gay. And I almost wanted to say, well, what if I'm gay? Um, this is my friend Ashley. Go follow her on Instagram. She's an amazing photographer. We've never actually met, but we are so like tight and she's so cool and beautiful and I love her and I'm so glad to have this internet friendship with her. So this is a big, big question that I get almost every single day. I will be making a full video on this question. Um, so stay tuned for that, and I'm also going to have my mom come in to talk a little bit about that. Um, but personally, my mom did not have a problem with me getting my pixie cut. Um, she was just very like, are you sure that you want to do that? Like, you might regret it, so on and so forth. But she was completely okay with it. My dad didn't even know I was going to get a pixie cut, and one day like, I come home and he's like, oh, I like your haircut. 
yeah. So my parents are very chill on that aspect, but I do have a lot of friends and like you that have a lot of problems with getting their parents or their grandparents or whoever to accept it and be okay with it. And I really do think that it is just being honest and telling them, look, hair grows back. If this is gonna make me happy, then why not? Like, why can't I do something that it makes me happy? So yeah, I will definitely get into detail and have my mom come in and talk about that for a another video. I need help. I want a pixie cut, but I don't want to look like a weirdo slash boy. Then don't go to a barber, and you really won't have to worry about that. As long as you say you want a pixie cut and not a boy cut, and show them a picture from Pinterest. Just be like, I don't want a boy cut, I want a pixie cut. There is a difference. What product do you use? I use lots of products. My current favorite product, the brand Naughty, um, they are 97% natural. So we have a shampoo. I specifically wanted the frizzy and damaged hair because my hair is naturally very frizzy. So I know that once my hair starts growing out more and more into a bob, um, it's gonna start getting more frizzy and so I really wanna avoid that and so I picked up the shampoo and conditioner as well as the leave-in conditioner um, and a treatment once again and you can do this like twice a week I believe as well as my favorite is the anti-frizz and it's literally stuff that you just put on your hair when you're done styling it or done with the day and it'll work even better for long hair but for me personally like this stuff is amazing so I know that I will keep on buying this probably until I die when I first looked at you, I was like, whoa, it's James Charles, woman form. Thanks. I get that a lot. She low-key looks like James Charles. Thanks. That's the worst pixie cut. More line guy cut. I have a pixie. Mine looks like a girl pixie. Good for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a like. If you had any more questions or comments or concerns, definitely Comment those down below or feel free to DM me on Instagram. My Instagram is RileyWeesPurnette. And just like always, if you have not subscribed, then feel free to subscribe if you want more videos about my pixie cut or pixie cuts or songs or poems or life or vlogs. I don't know. I do a lot on this channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Bye!